Hello Instagram Live. Welcome to another Friday edition of Marley's Corner. Hi. How are you? We are randomly dressed up for Halloween in the middle of the day. Okay. Wow, isn't that right? They're excited. That's so funny. Uh, Marley's staring at the... Uh, Maybe I'll just be a show about uh, barking back and forth. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> She's like, where's where the bark? I know. I don't know if he's in a... He's like not even like this when there's normally someone up in the Ah, well, they know they're, they're, they're on a show, so they're trying to show off a bit, right? Barbara's <laughs> up. Anyways. Anyway, <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you for coming on. Uh, I see your dogs are in some great costumes. Um, <laughs> Thank can you, you. Can you tell us about what they're wearing? Uh, so, uh, Charlie here is, they're both, boys are the T-Birds, and me and Brie are pink ladies. Yes, I know. You're here, guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> That's... This is the chaos of having three dogs. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we, I've said it in past shows that we, uh, you know, we're looking to get Marley a, a brother or sister, uh, but it's it must be a lot of work, right? Yeah, I mean, usually when it's just me and them, obviously this kind of stuff isn't happening, um, but it's a lot. It's 12 paws to my two feet, so it's a big <laughs> difference. <laughs> so, um do your dogs like dressing up? Is this is this a normal occurrence or is this no. kind of a Halloween? Thing? No, this is Halloween. This is Halloween only. They do not. Bree is not thrilled. Um, her jacket's a little bit tight on her belly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they no, I don't normally dress them up. Yeah, and I don't normally have pink hair either. Marley, uh, Marley can say the same. We got this for her a while back, and she looks like a little sausage now wearing her. <laughs> Assistant to the regional manager uh, shirt. Oh my uh, she's kind of like my my Dwight Schrute for today. <laughs> for all of you office fans out there, she is known to enjoy a, a beat or two, so she'd be a great dog over at uh, Schrute Farms. So this, <laughs> this is a great day for her. So back to Charlie, Brian Harbor. Um, how did they all become a part of your family? Did you get them all at once, or, or was it a steady kind of progression? Um, it was kind of steady, I guess. I was moving down to Charleston for law school from New York, and I um, wanted to bring a dog. So I, two of my parents' dogs, we made them and created Charlie. Um, he's nine, so he made that trip with me. And then when I was taking the bar exam three years later, I went home and my parents had another litter of puppies. And <laughs> I fell in love with this little girl. Um, she was the first girl that Lola, my mom's dog, ever had. And I just, I snuck around the plane home with me. And basically for Charlie to have a friend when I started working and never being able to be home. And then Harbor, wherever he went, he, um, he was a surprise. I had bought, I put a deposit on another dog, and I saw his face on a rescue page as a puppy, and he kind of just stole my heart. Oh. <laughs> and so I didn't fly out to California to get the other dog, and I got him instead. And I'm really glad I did. <laughs> Sorry, I, I gotta say, Destiny, the one thing that stuck out for me in that whole story is that you snuck your dog onto a plane. <laughs> or did yeah. you put, a, put it in your handbag or something? Um, so it's actually, and I'm not telling anyone to do this, um, it's actually really easy. The only people that care are the ones actually checking her ticket as you get on the plane. So like TSA, they just think you're traveling with your dog, um, you know, so basically just for that one moment, she was just in my purse, yeah. She was really tiny. So, um, and then once I got on the plane, I think one of the airline ladies took her and actually like took her the whole time because they wanted to play with her <laughs> oh, cute. so we don't condone sneaking puppies no. into, but if it's going to grow your pet family you, you gotta do time, what it yes, yes. <laughs> um so so what kind of dogs are they so uh brie and charlie are maltipoos 
um, Maltese Poodle mixes. And then Harbor is what they call a Golden Shepherd. He is a Golden Retriever German Shepherd mix. Wow, that, that's an interesting mix. Yeah, I didn't know they existed until I got a DNA test done. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Um, funny enough, so Marley is a French Bulldog, but she kind of looks different from all the other French Bulldogs I've seen. She has much longer legs and she's a little bit skinnier. Um, so I've been thinking about doing one of those DNA tests and, and seeing maybe we, <laughs> we always thought she might have a little um, Boston Terrier inside, you know. That would, I guess, explain the, you know, slender and longer. Yeah. Or that she's just made to be a model, right? Yeah, that too. That could <laughs> definitely be it. I mean, Harbor, I'm like waiting for him to thicken out. He's uh, going through his um, uh, awkward teenage years, I think. He's very, very lanky. <laughs> but and, um, Speaking about models, I see your dogs on your Instagram page a lot, and yeah. you have a very cool name. Um, <laughs> I, was hoping, I was hoping you could tell us what, that, what your Instagram handle is and, and how you got that. <laughs> so it's puppies and Pino, um, and it, when I in January 2019, when I found out I was getting this animal, he, um, I knew I was going to be really probably annoying to everyone that knows me because I would just be posting my dog. So I wanted to make them a page that if people chose to follow them, then they did. I had no idea what I was getting into. I did not know that the dog Instagram world was a thing. Um, and I didn't really know of a cute way how to mash up Bree, Charlie, and Harbor into one name. So naturally one night when I decided to do this, I was drinking wine, Pinot Noir, and- um, All the best ideas come from a bottle of wine, right? I agree. Um, it kind of just stuck and we jumped into this crazy Instagram world. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a great start. But so you have you have puppies and Pinot and Brie. So a perfect pairing between wine and cheese. Yes, yes. That's actually where she got her name from. Um, I used to call her my little chunk of cheese, and she. I was going to name her Piper, and then I didn't. I don't know why I didn't like it, and then I decided Brie because I she was always kind of chunky. Um, as you can see, she's very hot in her jacket, um, so she's named fitting. after Brie. <laughs> I think it's very fitting. So do you have, do you have um, like with, with Marley, I, I love, um, I love, a, a, there's certain things that I really love about her personality, like how, you know, how affectionate she is and, and how she kind of sticks around you as if you're the leader of her, her galaxy. Uh, do you have any certain things that, that individual traits you love about, about your, your dog? Uh, yes, definitely. They each have their own very distinct personalities. Charlie is my, he's just my old man. He's like, you know, a good classic, just, you know, my shadow. And he's been there through everything, like, you know, the later part of my life, law school, like the hardest stuff. I've ever gone through. He was there for me. And then Bree is just the sassy, spunky queen of the house. She rules the roost. We all know it. She puts the boys in their place. Um, yeah, she's just as sassy as can be. And Harbor is just the goofy, silly, ridiculous, golden, making all the German Shepherd sounds. Um, <laughs> He's still, you know, he'll be two actually next month. And so I'm still learning more of his traits, but he is just goofy and silly and just, he thinks he's their size. So he thinks he can just, you know, barrel you and sit on you. And um, aside from the hair, I do love that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's, a, he's a shudder. A little bit, yes. <laughs> Very cute. Well. Um, so you have three dogs. They, they, you know, they're part of your family. They, they have their space in your home. Uh, do you have any Pod.com products in the house? <laughs> yeah, um, a lot. A lot. <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, uh, it would probably be easier for me to name what I don't have. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, they're sitting on a pup protector blanket. Mm-hmm. Um, this is like their chair 
um, the two multi poos. Then the other couch, which you can't see, I could bring you to it if you wanted, um, is another pup protector to protect it, my couch from him. I'm sitting on, here, I'll just show you. I'm sitting on the pup rug mini. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, so here's the other pup rug, uh, or the protector. I have the runner. <laughs> now, that, now that you showed me that, actually, I do remember seeing a picture with your two multi-poos, one yes. on the pup rug mini. This one, chair. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep, I, looked, I knew it looked familiar. <laughs> yep, that's their chair. This is where me and Harbor sit. Um, this is his curved runner. <laughs> awesome. I don't know where you can see. And then out in the kitchen is a big, I don't actually know what that one is. Um, well, it looks, it all looks really nice in your home. <laughs> Thank that, you. That, that's kind of, that's kind of why we do this is to make sure our, our <laughs> pets have really nice places to hang out, but at the same time, it blends into our home decor and um, it's good for the pet and, and great for the pet parent as well. So I'm, I'm really glad to see this kind of incorporated <laughs> into your, into your lifestyle and your home yeah. and, and, it, and it looks fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, I swear by it. Um, I mean, I'm all about them being comfortable. Obviously, I cater to them in every way possible. And the fact that it can like, actually see hair everywhere, um, you know, match kind of my style and not look like some colorful, ridiculous bed. Um, I love it. I mean, I do have two more that I have not unboxed yet. <laughs> They are for a camping trip. I'm going um, with Camp Spot and you guys um, on a big camping trip with Harbor. So I have two beds to take with me on that as well. That's exciting. Where are you guys, uh, where are you guys going? <laughs> um, it's actually called the Golden Valley uh, Mountains, and they are in North Carolina. Um, mm -hmm. And we're going in two weeks. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah. So I've got the portable bed that you showed in your first show. I've got that one in the gray that's coming with us to protect my car <laughs> and then to carry around into the camp um, and then the outdoor lounger. Awesome, awesome. Well, I, I hope you guys have a fantastic trip. Camp Spot is a wonderful company. We're, we're really excited to be partnered with them and uh, I'm sure you guys are gonna have a real fun time out there. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I can't wait to see some color changes. That's right. So speaking of, are you guys gonna are you guys gonna go trick or treating this weekend? Um. Or we, maybe hand out hand out candy. If, yes. If, if, <laughs> yeah. Um. So this will be my second year in this house for thank uh, Thanksgiving. Well, that too, but uh, for Halloween. And last year, I kind of became known as the um, I don't know how to put it, but I had, you know, candy for the kids, jello shots for the adult kids, and trick-or-treat bags for all of the dogs, so I had, I had a lot of visitors, and it was a lot of fun, um, so I, I don't think I can't do that again, I think I have to. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> that, that sounds like a, a good time. Um, yeah. all right, Destiny, you know, I'm, I'm, so grateful that you're able to join us today. Uh, I, I love seeing your dogs and their costumes and your home with all of our Paw.com products. Um, so I, I'm really grateful that you came on to show. Marley already fell asleep. She's, <laughs> she's out cold. It's too much work for her. But have yourself a great uh, weekend and a happy Halloween and stay safe. And uh, we will chat soon, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank you. And everyone, uh, watching live don't forget to drop the name of your pet we'll be choosing a winner and thank you all for watching this week tune in next week for another episode of marley's corner where we'll bring you uh, another special guest we got one uh, in the pipe that we're really really excited about so uh, tune in next week and we'll see you on friday at noon at marley's corner bye bye marley say bye <laughs> <All right>. uh. <laughs>